Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to share my three favorite smoothies. Um, it is spring right now and especially around spring summer time, I love to drink, eat smoothies. I have smoothies for breakfast or uh, even have a snack. I find them just super easy to make and they're actually also perfect before or after workout. So today I'm going to share three very simple uh, simple recipes of mine, which I've been using a lot lately. First thing you need, I use a Nutribullet because um, I find that it's super easy and it's easy to clean, which is very important. The first smoothie I'm going to make is a blueberry vanilla one. Um, what we're going to start with is a banana. I always use a banana as a base for my smoothies just because it gives like a natural sweetness. Um, the banana also gives you some energy. I need the frozen blueberries. Okay, the frozen blueberries. Um, I would really recommend to use frozen ones because the, the smoothie is a little bit chilled. And also what I really like, because I travel a lot, if I have this backup in my fridge, I know I can always make a nice smoothie or like a nice breakfast when I come home. So I use like one cup of frozen blueberries in here. Then I'm adding some greens. I uh, am using today some spinach and this one was frozen as well. And I mentioned this before already in another video that if you use frozen spinach, your smoothie doesn't taste as great. So for the people who are new to the smoothies and don't really like vegetables, I would highly recommend to use uh, frozen spinach. So with this smoothie, you can use spinach or kale, is whatever you have. Then to give this smoothie the vanilla flavor, I'm going to use um, this Body Inner Beauty Powder by The Beauty Chef. And this has a really nice vanilla flavor, but it's still very clean. So there are no like sweeteners and makes the smoothie taste very good. Also, this brand adds a lot of prebiotics and probiotics to their, uh, to their protein powders. So it supports your gut health at the same time. So I'm adding one scoop of that. Then I'm adding a little bit of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna add some milk. Uh, you can use whatever milk you really like, uh, almond milk, oat milk, hemp milk, or just normal one. For today, I'm going to use some fresh almond milk. Maybe I should open it before, before I do this. I really feel like the almond milk tastes super, super nice with, uh, with the blueberry and vanilla. Okay, now it's time to mix it up. So, and the blueberry smoothie is ready. So blueberries actually have the highest antioxidants of all fruits. Um, so besides the color is amazing, it is also super, super nutritious. Wow. Smoothie one is ready. Okay, our second smoothie of today is gonna be an avocado chocolate smoothie. And as you guys know, I love chocolate, I love avocados. So to put that in one smoothie is just the best. Um, it is super simple actually, and we're gonna start again with the banana, which adds uh, the natural sweetness to it and this is often a, a smoothie when I just crave something more sweet because the chocolate uh, reminds me a little bit of, uh, of a dessert so go ahead add a banana then we're going to add one avocado you can also use half and put the other half in the fridge or maybe use it like a salad or something later I just really love to put a lot of avocado in there 
And actually, if you're making green smoothies, uh, avocado is something really nice to put in there as well because it gives a smoothie kind of like creaminess because of the texture. So it will taste amazing. And you can actually freeze avocados as well. Um, if they're ripe enough and like you're leaving the house, for example, uh, and you don't want them to go back, just freeze them and use them in your smoothies. Okay, um, then I'm just going to cut up two dates and the dates will give this smoothie also uh, some extra sweetness. Just make sure you take out the pit because you don't want that thing in the blender or between your feet. <laughs> Cutting these up a little bit and I add these to the smoothie. Okay, for the chocolate, obviously you can use uh, some raw cacao, but what I've been using lately is this nourishing protein powder, raw Peruvian cacao chocolate, and this is an organic brown rice pea protein by Welco. Um, and honestly, I really, really love all their uh, products. It's all like very raw, so no like added uh, artificials and this cacao powder. Sometimes if you have a protein powder with cacao, um, it doesn't really taste like cacao or chocolate. This one actually does. So what I'm doing, I'm taking a big scoop. If you even want to have more of a cacao flavor, you can add optional some extra, extra raw cacao. But this should be enough. Uh, then I'm adding one spoon of ground flaxseed and this will really help uh, your digestive system and then I'm adding some extra almond butter this one I just got uh, Trader's and Joe honestly I think they make the best almond butter in the world so putting a big scoop in there as well also the almond butter uh, because it contains a lot of nuts it gives you a lot of energy and there are so many healthy fats in here uh, in the almond butter but also in the avocado and i really want to drop this because really don't be afraid for healthy fats if you get like fats out of salmon or avocado or out of nut butters uh, it's really good it keeps you full keeps you going makes your skin glow so don't overdo it, but definitely don't cut them out because uh, they're also very yummy. Last, we're going to add, again, some element to this. And actually, what you can do as well... To this one, I'm going to add a little pinch of salt. I don't know if you guys have ever had a chocolate bar with sea salt, and I just think so tasty. So if you just add a tiny bit of salt, uh, it gives the whole smoothie so much more flavor. This is ready to be mixed. So if you find your smoothie um, a little bit too green or you don't find it super sweet, what you can always do is add a little bit of agave or a little bit of raw honey. So this one is a little bit thicker, you can see already by the avocado. If you prefer to have more liquid, then just add a little bit of milk to this. Mmm, so good. And smoothie too is ready. Okay, the third and last smoothie of today, which is, I think this one is actually my favorite because <laughs> um, this is actually my favorite smoothie. I think I make this almost every day, very often in the morning or again for like workouts uh, or anything. And uh, it's a green smoothie, but it is quite sweet because I'm going to add a couple of fruits. Um, first one, hey, sweet banana, good guess. And actually, this is a very ripe banana, and even when they're a uh, little brownish, I still use them in the smoothies because when they're ripe, they're extra sweet, which is super like flavorful, and you don't want to waste banana either. 
Then for the greens, I'm going to add some frozen kale. And same thing, because it's frozen, you don't really taste like the super strong green in it. And I'm going to add also some frozen spinach. It really looks like a lot, but once you blend it, uh, it's quite okay. Then I'm going to add fresh mangoes. I love mangoes, I think this is like my favorite, favorite fruit. And because mango is quite a sweet fruit, this smoothie is not like raw and green as well. So add a couple of those. Then we're gonna go to the super foods. Um, in here, I'm going to put a tiny little spoon of maca powder. And maca powder is a Peruvian superfood. And from all superfoods, this is one. This is the strongest. It has the most antioxidants and nutrition. So it helps for your overall health. Apparently, boosts your libido. <laughs> If you're new to maca, I would recommend just put like a tiny little spoon in there because it has this kind of like earthy flavor. So at the beginning, you probably like hmm, taste a little bit weird, but once you uh, once you use it a couple times, I feel you kind of have to get used to it, and you're actually like, oh, quite tasty. Then I'm going to add a couple of chia seeds, which are full of omega three protein powder. I'm going to use the New Co. Is that how I say it? <laughs> Maybe you guys can help me. Um, anyway, the reason why I'm using this, this is a blend of organic pea and hemp protein. And it is super pure, doesn't have any taste, so no additional sugars, and it's just really raw protein. So adding a scoop of that in here. Then for nut butter, I'm going to add a spoon of peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter in the world. Um, this is the North Shore Goody ones, and it's a coconut peanut butter. And it's just so flavorful and creamy, and it just contains coconut and peanut butter. And honestly, guys, if you guys try this, if you eat a spoon like that, I had a couple of friends actually who called the company and just double checked if there were no like sugars or anything else in there because it just tastes so, so good. You can actually get this in Hawaii. Uh, this is the main reason why I also really want to visit Hawaii because I want to get some peanut butter there. Um, okay, then we're going to add almond milk. And it is ready to be mixed. And it is done. You can really see the amazing green color of this. If this doesn't look healthy, then I don't know. Ta-da! My green smoothie is ready. So guys, I um, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration to make some smoothies at home. And really, don't worry if you don't have a couple of ingredients, just like mix it up, put sometimes vanilla in there, maybe not. If you wanna have it sweeter, put some honey in there. If you have kale or spinach, it doesn't really matter. If you just use a couple of nice uh, ingredients, uh, it will be very tasty. So guys, if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, put your notifications on, and give this video a big thumbs up if you think these movies look so delicious. Bye! <laughs>